Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and I am Naveen and today in this video we are going to see some basic BSc interview questions as a fresher so you can learn. So coming to the first question, what is an aliquot and diluent? So aliquot is nothing but my dear friends, it is a small portion or a volume which is taken from a sample. So it represents the fraction of the original sample for analysis or further experimentation. So you can understand, suppose uh, there is a test tube and in that there is a 5 ml, if you take 1 ml it is an aliquot like that so it is a small portion of an original sample next diluent so diluents are added to dilute the sample to reduce the concentration in this way you can think so here what is there diluent is a substance typically a solvent used to dilute a sample by adding a diluent to the concentrated solution so after adding the dilute diluent solute uh, mean the concentration of solute will get reduced to desired level facilitating laboratory procedures and analysis later later days you will come to know about uh, why we are adding diluent but now this time also some people may get to know but for those who didn't get it you can ask in the comment section i will try to explain more and what is molality so molality is denoted by small m here you can see so it is the measure of solute concentration in a solution so molality means solute concentration in solution it is also defined as number of moles of solute in 1 kilogram of solvent so what is the amount of solute in the 1 kilogram of solvent this is molality so you can calculate molality by moles of equal by formula using the following formula which is the moles of solute by kilograms of solvent so what is titration so what is titration i think in laboratory you have I mean lab experiments you may have performed titration so titration is done until endpoint is reached so it is an analytical technique quantitative analytical technique to determine the concentration of unknown acid or base in a base solution so titration process involve gradually adding a known concentration of solution titrain to the unknown solution until it reaches its endpoint so how do you find the endpoint through a color change using an indicator the point at which stoichiometrically equal amount of reactants have mixed is known as equivalence point so next is question is what is a buffer a buffer is a solution that resists change in ph when small amount of an acid or bases are added so by this time you can understand what is buffer and i think you all have studied during your studies also as a fresher you should all know these basic questions and you, sh you should be able to answer these so that you will be easy for it will be easy for you to get a job so a buffer is a solution which resists change in ph when small amount of an acid or base added it typically consists of weak acid or its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid so buffers are used to maintain a stable ph by neutralizing the added acids or bases making them essential that is h plus or oh minus ion essential in many chemical and biological system where ph stability is required you all know ph levels are very important in our body also different uh, systems will have different ph levels the ph of saliva is different the ph of ts is different so you must know about the basic concepts so that you will be able to grow further in your life so knowledge is very important those who are watching this video try to make yourself understand that nothing is more important than gaining knowledge and applying that knowledge practically mere reading is nothing important nothing you cannot do anything with mere reading you must apply practically whatever the knowledge you gain in that way you have to move forward so that your growth will be faster than any other else. how does a buffer work so a buffer works through a presence of a weak acid and its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid in the solution suppose when an acid is added the conjugate base component of buffer reacts with the added h plus ions and neutralizes them and minimizing the increase in the h plus ion concentration so what it is saying suppose there is a, there is a beaker and in that some solution is there when, when you add uh, so how can you understand so when an acid is added to that solution so the conjugate base component of buffer neutralizes the h plus concentration so here you can see when an acid is added to the solution it neutralizes and thereby stabilizes it by stopping increasing the H plus concentration. Next question is when a base is added. So the weak acid component, when we add a base, a weak acid component of the buffer donates H plus ions to react with the base, adding the base which is being added, forming a water and preventing a significant rise in OH concentration. 
so buffers are added to increase the stability by stabilizing preventing the rise in h plus or oh minus ion so clear my dear friends so if i made you confused once read this and let me know so these are some of the basic interview questions for bsc chemistry freshers so if you like this video please like and share subscribe and there are some other youtube channels for us also let's learn pharma you can also visit and there are a lot of uh, information is there in it that is my first channel and this is my second channel and thank you all for watching